Hello Capricorn, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and uh, this is your July horoscope for 2021. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did last month. I'm gonna pull one card for the theme and four cards for each of the weeks and tie it into the theme. And before we get started, let's recap what's going on here in 2021. So this is the year of the ancestor where you're listening to the universal beat. Everybody's got this card. Um, you're walking your spiritual path. You're walking the path you know, you made that commitment to walk through the birch trees and go down that road, down that path. January was all about being reborn. You immerse yourselves in the water. Um, if it was cold, you know, you come out cleaner, all right? Um, you wiped all that negativity out of you, and, it, you know, you had a positive outlook going into the year with, in January. In February, there was some jealousy going on. Maybe that's a relationship, or maybe you were aware of yourself being jealousy, but, uh, you know, as I like to talk about this card, it's uh, you want to put the blessings upon, you want blessings being put upon you. You don't want to put the blessings upon others. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, February was also Valentine's Day month, so, you know, maybe there was a relationship issue that you were jealous of. In March, it was all about being dedicated. Being dedicated possibly to the, you know, to your career, to your job, um, to your friends, all right? Whatever that dedication to the skill set you have, all right? Uh, you've gotten to a point where you're making those arrows dance around you, all right? And being dedicated to, you know, whatever that causes. And, and with arrows, that's that logic reasoning, right? Two arrows in a row. So, you know, if that goes back to that relationship, and you're dedicated to that relationship. You further dedicated yourself into that relationship. April was all about being strong, okay, and having the strength and the courage to move forward, okay, that life lessons card of, of taking on that strength and courage within, um, you know, your life to move forward, all right, and, and, and keeping that strength and courage with all the decisions and everything that's going on in your life. May was, was the king of stones, okay, and the king of materialism, king of stability, king of security. All right, he's the guardian of the of the dead and on their journey to the underworld. All right, and he's a great advisor, okay? The questions that he asks is, what advice gives you the best security? And, you know, if this is, you know, if you got that strength and that courage of a new relationship or, you know, staying in a, staying in a relationship, you know, what advice gives you the best security on that? Who, do you, who can you talk to, a pastor, a priest, a, you know, a loved one that's gone through that? situation you know however it is i'm just using these as examples this is general it could apply to anything right it could apply to finances you know which this card represents materialism security and stability you need to talk to those to the right people around that and the other question that he asked or she asked is you know where is life offering you its riches where are those riches for you to have that more security maybe you already have those within place Last month in June was Three of Stones and creativity, okay? Where, what advice gives you the best security in making that project that you have, that creative project, come to fruition, okay? Who can give you that advice on maybe taking that project, all right? You know, here she's got, the, this green woman's got her hand on the horse, as well as the bull, all right? Now, to me, the bull is, 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 is a firm Taurus sign, Okay, and the horse helps carry you through that project. And you've got the monolith above. So, you know, however you want to look at it, you know, I'm secure with what's going on and I'm going to, you know, be creative in my endeavors. There's that pathway. She's got her hands on both of it. I'm being creative. Okay. So let's see what July has for you, Capricorn. card that flew out five of arrows frustration it's gonna be a frustrating month for you the theme okay um, your arrows aren't going to hit the mark that they that they, they want to hit um, now this is a air sign okay this is an air card air logic and reasoning okay frustration to me is is up in here okay we can let things get to us to make us frustrated to not allow us to Keep our eyes on the prize. Keep our focus on what needs to be out there, okay? And, you know, if you feel like you're getting frustrated, take a step back this month. Refocused, 
okay? Regather yourself so you can hit that mark. And let's see how these weeks, the weeks of July pull, pull off into this theme. And we'll tie it all together. That first week of July is gonna be represented by the Queen of Arrows and the Swan. Queens, to me, rule the castle. And, you know, again, arrows is all about air logic reasoning. Okay. Um, the other thing I like about this, you know, the, the way I like this, the, what I like about this card is swans like to swim in different pan, ponds. They like to move from one pond to the next. They never stay put. And, you know, you see this in the Six of Arrows card transition as well. Okay, the, the guy's at the tiller and he's, you know, he's in a boat that looks like the swan. Swans are also, they go from, you know, being ugly in, the, in, in their birth to being beautiful birds at the end. So whatever's frustrating you, there may be some sort of transition going on. That queen of arrows is coming through saying, you know what, I want to give you this advice of moving to a different pond. Okay, one that's going to be very graceful for you and one that's going to be better off for you. Okay, and we'll tie this into this five of arrows here in a minute. Or two. The second week of July, Capricorn. It's going to be represented by the Nine of Vessels and Generosity. You are going to be bestowed with so many gifts, so, many, so much... Uh, emotional energy, so much psychic energy that you're going to be generous with that to the other. So much positive energy that you're going to be able to, to move that forward. And that's kind of counterintuitive of what that Five of Arrows is saying, right? But, you know, maybe there's some frustration building up during the month for that theme. During that third week, Capricorn, it's going to be about the pole star. It's going to be letting Letting the stars guide you, letting the universe, this is telling me the universe has your back, okay? It's lighting your path moving forward, and this is a life lessons card. So, you know, maybe this isn't, maybe this is an awareness for you of not becoming frustrated, realizing that, you know, you have to transition to a different pond. I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be bestowed with generosity, all right? And I know that the universe has my back moving forward. That life lessons card that you have to have to think about. And then the fourth week is going to be represented by the Nine of Bows Respect. And to me, the, you know, this is where the Wood Woes jumps out of the forest as you're, as you're moving forward and uh, it's saying, you know, I want to look into your eyes. I want to see if you respect, you know, the process that's happening here or respect the Wildwood Forest. All right, and, and if I see that within you, if I see the determination and the courage and the strength, and you, you have respect for this process, then I'm gonna let you go, go through. All right, so how does this all tie into frustration? The five of arrows frustration. That's the theme, right? I, I'm feeling that this is more of an awareness that July could be a very frustrating month for you. And if you're aware of it, then you, know, then you can do something different, right? That first week is represented by the queen of arrows. Okay, and the swan. And again, as I said, you know, it's symbolic of being a strong and protective bird. Um, you know, the swans, are, you know, give you that opportunity to break free, uh, to swim in a new environment, okay? And maybe that's what you want to do. Maybe that's that thought process. You want to move to a new environment, okay? And that environment had something to do with last month. Maybe you had a creative endeavor. Maybe you're, you know, you're stepping out into being an entrepreneur, all right? Anytime you step into something new, you're going to be frustrated. But with that frustration of not hitting those goals, not hitting those that mark, okay, of breaking free, of moving into a new environment, you know, something that doesn't serve you, this queen asks, you know, what help do you need? What help do you need to, to, to take that creative project and move forward? What help do you need so you don't become frustrated? Okay, and she also asks, what is that straightforward approach? What's that straightforward approach in taking that creative idea that you had last month and put it into fruition? What's that straightforward approach to not be frustrated, to making sure that you hit your mark, right? Because if you do end up hitting that mark, 
all right, and things are working out for you, you're going to feel better, okay? And you've got the card of that, that nine of vessels, that generous, generosity, okay? You're going to be generous with your time, with your creative endeavors, okay? And maybe it's, don't get frustrated if that generosity isn't well received. Don't get frustrated if um, people are being generous to you, okay, and you don't know, you know, maybe they, maybe you overbook, okay? Don't get frustrated with that process. Don't get frustrated with the generosity that's coming in in the second week, and this is why. Because the universe is going to take care of it, okay? The universe is looking out for you. The universe is lighting your path, opening up the trees and, and, and shining down on that path that you're on. Okay, don't get frustrated with everything that's happening this month because the universe has got your back. The universe is saying, I've got you. Okay, there's no need to be frustrated. The nine of bows in that fourth week, okay, you, here you are gathering all this positive energy and you're getting some respect for yourself about what you're doing. Maybe some colleagues are respecting you, okay? But you're still not hitting that mark. If you're not hitting that mark, don't worry about it. The universe is guiding you on this, okay? Maybe there's something you need, you know, maybe you need to go back and look at, at that transition. Maybe you need to look at that generosity. Maybe you need to look at how the universe is protecting you so you can hit that goal, right? To me, this is an awareness card of not to become frustrated this month. Okay, it may seem like things are going to be frustrating, but if you're aware of it and you say to yourself, okay, D is saying this, I'm going to watch for situations to get me frustrated and I'm going to take a step back. Okay, and I'm going to refocus on what's happening. All right, that's kind of the message that I want to give to you, Capricorn, for the month of July. If you feel frustrated, take a step back, refocus, and realize you're in a transition. You can be generous with your time. Okay, I overbooked. Oh, I can't change it, okay? I know the universe has my back. And at the same time, I respect myself for what I'm doing. All right, Capricorn, so that's the message for the month of July. Hit that like button for me, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel. And this is Dee for Spirit's Path. We'll talk to you in the month of August. Take care, God bless, stay safe.